This is one of a few segments I'm going to be making about my visit to uh, the Santa Ines, Santa Rita Valley region. This is particularly on Melville, and uh, there's no tasting here because it was just I just got these bottles and I'm trying to get them organized. I have them here as a prop just to prove that they're there, and also I know that it may introduce a little bit, a uh, little bit of. Uh, Tension here because, uh, as my Hani said, uh, my friend Hani said uh, in one of the videos, you keep worrying whether they're going to fall overboard. I don't think they will, but they're here. We had a great visit with Melville. You will see in the pictures that are coming up how uh, pretty the place is, and also uh, we will talk about the specific wines we tasted there. Melville was really best known for its Pinots, I think, as a start but they're making also some incredible Syrah. And I have a little bit of story on this uh, that we will discuss uh, in another segment. Ron Melville and his wife Donna started this. The second generation is Chad, and there's a bit of a story on that as well. And his sister, Sandy, and some wines and names uh, uh, after some of these people. And it's kind of nice to have it all be related to what's going on in the family. Anyway, let's move on to the specifics of the visit itself. Here's the inside of the main building. This is that round uh, rotunda you see from the outside. It's really quite impressive and uh, it's just a nice roundness because it really makes it a nice uh, space to, uh, to explore. And then from there, you walk through that uh, doorway to go outside. I mean, you can start outside or inside. And that gives you a glimpse of how how nice the setting is. It, it, it's just really a, a beautiful place to spend some time uh, at uh, in the afternoon. It really reminded me a lot of, uh, of dinner in Paso Robles in terms of just how laid back and how uh, nice the, the natural setting uh, really was. So now let's dig into the tasting. We had a Chardonnay and uh, a couple of Pinot, three Pinot and one Syrah. And then I had uh, an extra one we talk about at the end. Uh, Melville is really focused, believes very strongly in neutral oak aging. So everything is in uh, neutral uh, wood. Also, there's a lot of uh, the use of whole cluster across the range, and, and then we see it depends on each uh, each bottling. So starting with the Chardonnay, I really liked it. I thought it was a, just a, the right mix of, of acidity and and uh, and the other some of the other notes you expect in uh, in Chardonnay without having the buttery feel that I'm not really a big fan of. They use whole cluster, which is unusual, and they, they actually stop malolactic fermentation, so there's no mallow. Uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, I think uh, Leon and Saucy still prefer the, the Zaka Mesa Chardonnay. The Sandy's uh, Pinot, Sandy's Block, that Sandy is, is uh, Ron Melville's daughter, Chad's sister. It's very, very light, very ethereal. It's well, some of the really good Pinot I think you can get in the area. It's on sandy soil. It does. It is a bit tricky, but once you get it right, it really produces this sort of very light uh, and 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 um, subtle Pinot. And as you work through the range, you know the the next one, the Rancho Nuevo, was a little bit more complex. It is more. Uh, I think there's more uh, whole cluster in it. You know, the Sandy was 50% whole cluster, and to me it was a good combination of lightness and body, and I think that's really what I preferred of the three. The Block M was on compacted soil in a sunnier uh, area, so less drainage, tougher, smaller, tougher berries, more intense, more more uh, concentrated, and uh, I called it a cab lover's Pinot, you know, and, and in fact, uh, Leon Saucy and Saucy really uh, I liked it a lot uh, as well. So that, that was sort of the range of what people preferred. The State Syrah was was very good. It's a good blend of some of their best uh, uh, sort of uh, plantings and they make a really good Syrah out of it. Then I really wanted to taste the Donna's Block Syrah which it will be uh, on the next page and um, and that's sort of, to me, what, what good Syrah from the area really should be like. It's uh, Donna is uh, uh, Ron's wife, so the mother of the children, and uh, that that uh, Syrah was really planted in some of the northernmost regions of their vineyards. 
so it's cooler climate it is sandy soil but but the the the, the syrah develops really differently it's a cool climate syrah and i found when i tasted it that i i really liked the way it was sort of dark and broody a little bit and and coiled and even though it's a 2019 i think uh, it was still uh, had a lot of room for development so this is one i'm gonna keep uh, for a while i got a few bottles so maybe i'll drink one soon and the rest later anyway it's just a great visit and uh, we we both you know we all found something we liked and uh, and i think we'll come back just one note on these visits and we talked about this before some of these visits get quite expensive with the wine tasting and, and all these wines these wines are not necessarily cheaper than they are in the store so one has to be careful about that but if you're buying one or two bottles that are maybe harder to find then the wine tasting is, is sort of reimbursed to you fee and overall you'll find that you have a good uh, a good experience so it's it's worthwhile for that reason but don't expect that uh, you're going to get a deal really on the on the bottles themselves unless you you join some discount clubs or what have you but that really makes it into a lot of wine to buy all the time so all in all it was a great visit we had a great time the wines were just incredible and i think Merville is, is somebody is, is a place that consistently punches above its weight the base estate uh, 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 Pinot is just incredible. I've had some in the past, and I think we did a video together on that. But but the the single vineyard ones, as we saw in the tasting, were also incredible. Again, you know, very friendly, very nice. There was a little bit of a hiccup at the end. I did order to take with me two bottles of the Donna Syrah, which I really liked, and they were nice enough to have us taste it, even though it's not on the tasting flights. But somehow things got a little bit messed up. I got home, I had two Donna, two sorry, Sandy, you can see how you can mix it up. Pinot instead of the Donna Syrah. And you know, I was, I was disappointed because I really wanted the Syrah. I did talk to them, they're gonna sort it all out, ship me the, 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 the flip and, and I'll take care of the, you know, they can take care of getting the, the, the Pinot shipped back. And, and it's just kind of the kind of nice customer service you really wanna feel in, in uh, these places. So all in all, very happy with the visit and, uh, and the wine. Thanks.